Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> That's Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said the angry Asian. They, oh, Jesse, the angry Asian. <laughs> I want a fucky, fucky long time. <laughs> that was my Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> I Thank you, like, come I, again do you, do you do Irish and it comes out Australian? Well, let me see <laughs> uh, Top of the morning to you <laughs> Actually, nope, that was the only one that made sense so far <laughs> Alright, good, there you go <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of CATV Tech Talk. I'm your host, Drew. Here's your co-host, Jesse. What's going on? Top of the evening to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What people don't understand right now is me and Jesse just had this like 10 minute. It, he he tries to sound like a northerner and he sounds like an Asian, but then he tries to sound like an Asian and then he sounds Arabic and he just now, but he can nail Leprechaun right on the head. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little um, Irish in me. <laughs> Don't say no, no, never mind. All right. <laughs> Today's episode Internet Data Caps. I'm trying to make it sound more epic than it really is, but Jesse, did you happen to hear what Comcast announced? Yeah, man. Dude, to me, in the year that we're in, in the circumstances that people are currently in, this is really shitty. Yup. With that being said, I thought they were going to do this a few years back when they started losing TV subscribers Mm. because people are switching to streaming services. So by switching to streaming services, they still have to have broadband. So they're just eating up a lot of of bandwidth. So That's actually a really good point. I never thought of it that way. Well, I thought that was going to happen when they started losing TV subscribers, they're like, well, yeah. we're losing money here, but we can start charging them more over here to make up for our loss. Mm. I figured this was going to be a thing. I just didn't think it was going to happen right now in the middle of a pan- the coming out of a pandemic, which they say we're coming out of it. Apparently it's still a thing, but we're in this, just say we're in this pandemic. People are more reliant on the internet right now than ever. Right. Yeah. Yep. That's a shitty time to fuck it. You know, people are working off of it. The kids are going to school. You know, you're at home. If you're still, if you get sick and you get sent home for 14 days, you're sitting there on quarantine for 14 fucking days. Are you telling me you're not allowed to, to stream movies because you only got so much you can use? That's fucking bullshit. I know, especially when people are sick and they're supposed to be staying in bed. Yeah, dude. We had a comment. Tony even said, um, it's already happening here with Cox Cable. So Cox Cable's doing this as well. And I'm sure there's other companies out there that are doing it that we're just not aware of. But like you said, I feel that right now is not the time to be doing stuff like this. And like you said, the less, I I, I never even thought of that, but I, which is stupid of me, but I'm shocked that like you said, it hasn't been here earlier because of the less and less television customers that we get. Or that they are the you know these companies are getting because of the streaming services, well that's the time to cap them because that's the way to make up your revenue loss. But again, I feel like timing's just way off on this. Yeah, dude, and not just the timing thing. I will say this though: the way that I read it and how they're implementing it, it doesn't make sense to me either. They're doing it the exact model like a, a mobile phone provider, right? So yeah, like cellular. Yep. So like. You got X amount of months, and when you go over, we'll give you an extra gig or whatever for $10. Well, if you think about it, you watch a day's worth of Netflix, you're done. You pay another $10. You're going to have people with bills of, like, $500 internet bills. Oh, yeah. Especially, like, guy, I got freaking four kids, four iPads, four different shows, and four, you know, not to mention everything else going on. And, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a good amount of people at my house. So, with all of them using it. You know, you know, I got two sons. Well, my younger son is a Fortnite fanatic, right? Yep. So I don't know how much it uses, but it has to use a shit ton of bandwidth to lie, to to play a game over the internet. Mm. It just does. I don't know what it uses, but he's on it, you know, two or three, four hours a day when he has nothing to do. 
And when he's on there, it's got to be burning bandwidth. I can't. And do you know how many people in the United States or around the world? Well, we're just talking about the United States, but that play that have a kid that play that game. Their internet bill is going to go through the fucking roof. Well, Comcast actually specifically claims that with this data cap, with 1.2 terabytes, also 1,229 gigs, they can play 34,000 hours with friends and family across the country. They say with 1.2 terabytes, 34,000 hours. Now, is that... 34,000 hours on like a PS1 with eight people on a network? Or is that your kid playing Fortnite with a hundred other people? And is that just 34? Is that per per person? Is that per household? I, I feel like that's, they say that they even, do you want me to go over Let me just go over the short list that they, they say. Before that you, you go over of, the list, I want to say yep. this. You said PS1, dude. We're not 10 years old anymore. No, that's what I'm trying to say, though. Are they, I mean, uh, uh, what did we, this happened the other day. And I don't know, it was me and my wife, we were reading some advertisement. Oh, it was a heating pad for a bed. And it was like, you know, originally $180, but uh, a new price of $39.99. And what it was, was the one that was $189 was the king size one. The one that was on sale for $39.99 was the twin. The king size one was still like 90 something bucks. So is this one of those moments where they're saying, yeah, you can get 3,400 hours or 34,000 hours but what type of quality streaming are we talking about? Again, oh, okay, is it you. like your kid playing Fortnite? Or is it like going back to PS1 when you're playing with like only eight people on the server because PS1 doesn't exist? Actually, I don't even know if PS1 ever went online. I think PS2 but, was the first one, but yeah, I'm with you. All right, this is just supposed to be a simple analogy, and now, now it's gone way too far. Um, but anyways, so they're saying... With 1.2 terabytes, again, 1,229 gigs, you can listen to 21,600 hours of nonstop music or binge 500 hours of your favorite shows in HD. That one, I actually believe because I feel like you could hit 500 hours in a full household very quickly. I think it's quicker than people would realize. See, and maybe I, well, us as cable technicians or knowing cable to us, maybe it's just, that's why we see it doable or you can see that. And I guess somebody who wouldn't really understand it wouldn't know, but I feel like 500 hours divided up, by a family of six or we'll say even five that's 50 hours so that's 10 hours a week so you're talking only like two three hours a day of tv so if you're stuck home right now in a pandemic those 500 hours are gonna get sucked up pretty fucking quick and then they say video chat for 3500 hours for all your remote learning from homes and needs so again when they explain streaming gaming and connecting are you talking i can do 500 hours plus 34,000 hours plus 3500 hours or no. do i have to divide between all of those i believe it would be like you can do one or the other or the other so this is like going this is what it really is to me it's like i'm what i'm reading if i was to visualize it it's like a, a I don't want to say hillbilly because I don't want to try to offend anybody, but we'll say, we'll say a mountain northerner has two rotten out front teeth. And instead of the dentist fixing it, he's just saying, fuck it. I'm going to throw gold caps on it and just make it look pretty. So people think they're fucking dope, but it's really shitty behind the scenes. I kind of feel like this is what that internet cap is. I kind of feel the same way, but it's more like going to the, to the whorehouse. And the one that's really hot has a stinky snatch, and the other one doesn't. It's always about the hookers with you. <laughs> you do you know there's 
females that listen to the show that could be a and i respect and i respect them dearly as i respect anybody who decides to be a whore that's their deal (laughs) well ladies and gentlemen you heard it from his mouth you really can't argue with any of that um all right so we would assume it's making up for the loss of the tv and the phone customers but again (laughs) timing's just so shitty for that the effects this is going to have on customers. What do you think is going to happen? Well, here, here's what I think. Like for me, like now here lately, you know, you know the kind of work I do. I, I don't go into it, but I need yeah. my, my mobile data, right? A hundred percent. So otherwise I would be like glued to my laptop and I really don't want to do that. I'd rather be able to be active and about. So I pay a little more each month to get the unlimited data cap for my phone. So I keep high speed internet regardless where I'm at, as long as I'm in service range, right? Yeah. So I enjoy that. It's a little bit more, but I have peace of mind knowing I'm not going to run out and get stuck somewhere and can't do what I need to do, right? Yeah. That's that to me is going to be the biggest effect on the customer outside. Like I don't know what the difference in the scale of charge for internet per area is going to be, but say say their internet's eighty nine dollars right now, and if you go over, they're going to charge you ten dollars. Well, then now it's $99. If you go over again, it's going to be another $10. Now it's $109. I think they need to structure it differently than the the cellular data because they need to, like, people want to pay one price and know I got this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. They They don't want to have to worry about it. Can you imagine in today's world, mom, dad, daughter, son, whatever, hey, turn the computer off. We can't stream anymore this month. We're running low. This is fucking 2020. No, but then you just put little coin operators on all the kids' computers. So if they want more time on the internet, they can just do chores around the house and then they can put like a dime in for every five minutes. <laughs> hey, hey, dude, we, you just might have thought of the greatest thing in the world. There we go. Right next to Drew's shit bucket, we're going to have fucking Drew's coin operated computer internet giver. Also known as the, I don't, I don't know what the abbreviation for all that would be, but hey, this kind of sounded fantastic for a minute. Child labor. Well, you just went a whole fucking different direction with that. I was just trying to give the kids internet for a fucking dime, not fucking use them for all their fucking worth. Yeah, you're gonna make them sweep the floors, mop everything. Here's ten cents, motherfucker. You got five minutes. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh-huh. well, anyway, moving on. I, I just. But honestly, though, dude, like that, that I think that's going to be the biggest factor to this on under the customer is, you know, hey, I pay for this every month. Why all of a sudden does it bog down and I can't use it? Well, not only that, I mean, you talk about expense. So now, again, a time more than ever, which like you say, it's getting better. I looked at my news feed this morning, which I actually haven't looked at in a few, few days on my phone. And it was pretty much COVID every fucking, every single story was COVID. Um, So up here, it seems to be ramping up and down there seems to be calming down, even though it's not ramping up around us. It's just ramping up in general. Um, Well, not necessarily down here. I I hear that on the news that Texas is ate up with it. Now I'm about 600 miles from Texas, but I'm in the South. So like, it's, it's like spotty, man. Like the Midwest is ate up with it right now. It's just spotty. Well, even down south in Massachusetts, for us, that's close by. That's about an hour, hour and a half away. Actually, closer than that. Um, Mileage-wise, I don't fucking know. I do everything by time. Um, but either way, that they're a big hot spot down there right now, too. Well, in my, in my county, I think I told you this. Like, my kids are only going to school two days a week and doing virtual other than that because they're yeah, trying to yeah. limit because there's so many cases in my county. Yeah, they so, shut down all of our schools around us as well. So that, so back to what you were saying, that leads right into what you're saying though, about like my, like for instance, my kids have laptops they have to sit on and do like little virtual lessons and shit. Yep. I don't know how much bandwidth that, that uses, but when they have you, they send you like links to YouTube videos and you have to watch these YouTube videos for like 45 minutes and then yep. go on there and answer questions. You're still burning data, burning bandwidth. A hundred percent. And now you have these parents at home because unfortunately- they possibly lost their jobs because of this situation, which now it sucks because now you have this parent who has to have their kids 
online learning because of the existing situation. They just lost their job. So now considering everything's 100% virtual, they're now looking for jobs over the internet, doing job interviews over the internet. I mean, again, it's like a crucial life source right now. Absolutely. And now all of that, it's just one more stupid thing because somebody could possibly be trying to better themselves or be looking for a job or just trying to get their fucking kids educated, you know, in in a freaking country where it should be fantastic. But no, instead, they're going to be punished and paid or being charged overages for. And you know what? Maybe you would know the answer to this better than me because I didn't do the plant side of it. Where does this benefit the company? Where is the benefit? Where where is the company losing because of the internet being used so much? Is it does it does it burn out? Is it kind of like you know fucking tires on a car? Is it oh well, let's use this too much this month? We got to swap this amp out. I'm like ninety percent sure that's not how it works. Honestly, I can't I can't answer that. That's above me. With that being said, though. What it comes like, down to is it to, like a fucking hamster in a wheel, and it's like, oh shit, the fucker died. They made it run too fast. We got to replace it. No. Like <laughs> the the company's definitely not losing money on the internet service. I, I don't see that now, especially if you look at prices from five years ago to now. Like you, I'll use Comcast around here. Comcast internet used to be like forty nine dollars a month just for the internet, right? Five years ago, yeah. now it's ninety ninety nine dollars. The cheapest package they got, right? $99. So they they knew that they were slowly making it up, and we just didn't realize it by raising prices. But here's the deal, though. Here's, Here's the point to this. It really goes back to what I said when we started. Cable companies, their foundation is cable. But when you have options now that don't require a cable box, you know, you got Amazon, those Amazon uh, fire sticks, everybody, I've got two or three of them. You can watch fucking live sports on off through your PlayStation, through Hulu. Like you don't need the shit they're offering anymore. Yeah, the only no. thing you have to have is the internet. You have to have the internet. Now, does it have to be their internet? No, but you have to have internet. If you have internet, you can still do everything you've always done. And it's usually cheaper. Yeah. Yep. So this is more, this is more of a, basically a fortune 500 company or, you know, Comcast is, they're one of, they're the biggest conglomerate with cable TV anywhere. Cost so kinda- then see, even with that, and sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but you just said it there. They're the biggest one out there. And I hate, I hate that. I'm, I feel like I'm constantly pointing out specific companies, but you have a company that is so big that makes probably way, way more money based off of their networks between NBC and all the sport, like I don't even need to, there's so many of them out there. So there's so much revenue pouring in for, and not to mention now everything's on TV. You, we ain't going everywhere. So everything's on TV. Everything's on these networks. So again, it makes zero fucking set. Like I'm getting frustrated and more aggravated. It it goes back. We talked about it on the, uh, our last episode when we were going through the top five reasons. This is a greed thing, in my opinion. It's greed. A hundred percent. I mean, and this is going to be the only episode where I'm going to be like, you know what, Jesse, you're right. Drew is a little whiny bitch because this is a hundred percent bullshit. I feel like it's the most, I could maybe, maybe understand a lower level cable company where they're going, Ah, shit. Like, we're only used to like 5,000 people, but now our servers just doubled. So we have to try to expand to make sure. I don't think that's a struggle for Comcast. I don't feel it's a struggle for Cox. So, I, or, or any, any of the big name companies out there. So, again, I just feel like it's such a fucking shithead move. In, in, in the, if they'd have come and done that in like two years, if we were all recovered from this COVID thing, it would make sense. Or had they done it prior to this COVID thing and like they had, I had been doing it for six or eight months a year, 
and then boom and then you know that would have been actually it would have been better for them had they done that beforehand because then they could have cut those and it looked like where they were trying to help us right like help people yeah so it would have been like good pr but to do this shit on the back end of something that's apparently still affecting a lot of people and jobs and the way we communicate and things we do like i mean for god's sake over thanksgiving you had people all over tv the governor of new york saying don't have more than 10 people yeah well i'm I, he can kiss my ass because i had about 12 people but fuck them i live in georgia anyway that's but all right that, before you know it there's just gonna be overage charges you're gonna get a bill from the state up oh, nope you're getting fucking charged an extra fucking ten dollars <laughs> a head that you weren't supposed to have in your house well the point i'm making is like this is still a thing and to drop this as a huge corporation on the american people at this this point in time is just a greedy shitty way to it's just shitty and this is the part that i don't understand is with with comcast specifically it's saying charges included in the states of connecticut delaware massachusetts uh minnesota maine new hampshire new jersey uh north carolina new york ohio fucking pennsylvania virginia vermont and then west virginia and district of columbia they only specific to those states i I wish i knew why i I don't know i really don't it's if anybody listening knows what's the reasoning behind it i'm just gonna throw a shot in the dark as a guess that there's a specific law in other states that prohibit that that could prohibit because here's the thing oh here's the my thing about fucking god so what you're pretty much pointing out is saying that this is the fucking they can actually get away with it based well yeah if you think it business state this is just my guess but like here's the point right if 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 say comcast like i'm standing right now in a comcast system if charter decided to come in and well i'm going to compete with comcast and rebuild right over top of them, that's legal because otherwise it would be considered a monopoly, right? Yep. I'd say the majority of these areas that they're in, they have real big populations. Nobody's going to, the ones that are going to charge these overages. They have real big populations in the areas and a lot of subscribers. There, There's nobody's going to try to like, it's almost like nobody's going to step up and try to fight with them or compete with them because they know they can't mm. win, right? Yeah. And some of these other states they might be in situations where they actually have competition so they know if they pull that shit in states where they have competition people just say fuck you i'll go somewhere else yeah yeah that's true i don't fucking know dude like for instance you said west virginia is on that right the state of west virginia is the second poorest state in the united states okay the second poorest state behind mississippi and this is uh, through uh as of the 2019 census bullshit or whatever I don't think it's census, whatever it was, but I I looked it up a while back. My dad's from West Virginia. That state has nothing in it. If they have a section that has Comcast cable, those people up there think they hit it big because the majority of that state doesn't even have internet service in big pockets of it, right? Mm. So those people, and they're probably struggling anyway because now they're going through dealing with, uh, and we're talking about the customer, so let's talk about it for a minute. And we'll just use this state as an example. Right now, we're going through this deal with the government. They're trying to stop fracking. Fracking is fossil fuels. That area in the country, that's the majority of their jobs, right? Yep. Now you're telling me that if the government outlaws it and they shut down uh, uh, coal mines back in, I think it was 2009 or 10 or something, when they outlawed that, like they were shutting down coal mines. If they did that again, now these people can't pay their internet bill. How the fuck are you going to charge them more? Yeah, but there's something there with they're in a situation where they can get away with doing it and they can basically say we got billions of dollars. So if you don't want it, take it or leave it. We're all that's here. We're the only game in town. Take it or leave it. So <laughs> I just I, again, because this got me so flustered and you brought up um, and the producer flashing me in the background brought up um the whole concept with, well, is it legal in this state? And that's why they can't do it. Um, OpenSecrets.org, they have an article about it. And it says, broad 
broadband yeah broadband giants are lifting these caps for now but they spent millions to lobby congress to keep them legal over the last decade broadband giants such as AT&T Comcast advocate for data caps starting in 2010 to manage high usage through higher fees since 2010 the telecom industry has spent a staggering 953 million dollars in lobbying and they shell out over 93 million dollars in 2018 and over 101 million dollars last year just just to fucking be able to keep data caps so they're not only doing this in the worst possible fucking time, they're also spending money to do it. Because they figure they'll get it back. I, I don't know, man. No, one, you, It's going to take a lot of data cap fees to hit. No, just, just hear me out. I know that we're the little guy and we don't see money the same way as big wigs do. But let's look at this from a right perspective. In 10 years... Now, this is a couple of different companies that this 953 million. So let's just let's just say there's three of them. We'll go three hundred million dollars. OK, this for one company has spent three hundred million dollars lobbying and paying Congress and the Senate and whatever the fuck was going on behind the scenes, because we don't know these things. But say that three they spent three hundred million dollars over a decade. OK, well, if they have five hundred million or. 800 million subscribers across the United States and each one of them get charged one time $10. Jesus Christ, dude, they made their money back in a month. Yeah. Or and then I, some. I just didn't think you were that good at math and you weren't going to argue it, okay? That's what you think <laughs> guessing we're all dumb rednecks down here. No, no. That's why. Did you not hear me make fun of my northern mountain people with no fucking teeth? All right, so fuck off. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so we talk about why we think they're doing it. We talk about the effects of the customers. Now, what we're we going to talk about next was talking about the effects of the tech and the call center. I'm just going to go out there on a limb and just say the tech ain't going to have to deal with shit, except when they show up at the house, they're just going to go, Ooh, what the fuck's going on with the data cap? And honestly, everybody listens a technician or they know a technician or they're closely enough related to the cable field where, you know, you're just going to give that customer their look like how the fuck am I supposed to know? Because that is so beyond a tech. And I think right. every customer knows that I truly don't think a customer is going to jump down a technician's throat for something like that. I mean, there might be those one-offs. Don't get me wrong. I know people out there batshit crazy, but I, I, I just don't think the techs, but the call center people, I do think they're going to catch shit for that. Um, and I think more of any of the billing department. So I know my heart usually goes out to the, uh, you know, the contractors and stuff out there. Cause I feel like they're constantly getting their balls busted, but I think, um, what is it? February, at least for, um, Comcast, I, my heart goes out to the billing department cause I would not want to be that person having to answer those phone calls. Yeah. They're going to, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of people pissed off. Why, why do I got $30 more on my bill this month? And I'm sure, and here's the thing, they, they're probably going to send out letters to all these people. You remember back when we were techs and they were doing like, I don't know if you went through this, but I did, where they did like the digital cut and they were cutting over from still yep. having some analog and they were slowly phasing it out and going full digital. We, call, uh, we called it calv Calvary. Cavalry. Cavalry. Wow, I can't fucking talk tonight. Jesus Christ. Cold cavalry. No, I don't know. Whatever it's called. Cavalry. Cavalry. Yeah. I, I, they, just I called it the, they just called it the switch or digital cut or whatever. <laughs> cut well, over. <laughs> well, yeah, cut over. There you go. What happened with us, though, when we did it was they kept pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back. Well, we're going to do it in May 15th, for instance. Not that it came and went, didn't have it. We're going to do it June 32nd. Or 31st, whatever. Why did I say 32nd? I'm a dumbass. Anyway. <laughs> That's anyway. Right. I don't know how the fucking states are abbreviated, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. No, we're going to do it August 1st. Didn't happen. Then all of a sudden, we come into work one day, and boom, there's 8,452,000 trouble calls, right? Exactly that many? Ah, fuck, I don't know. There was more than I could count. Dude, I remember that, though. They just did it in the middle of the night and didn't fucking tell anybody. I know just how excited you were by that. I was like, oh my God, is that an actual fucking like number? 
<laughs> well, then, then you, it just opened up. A, I ain't going to go into that. We'll talk about that on another episode. But that's essentially what's going to end up happening. They'll mail this shit out because that's what they did prior to flipping the switch to full digital. Yeah. They would mail this shit out to all these people for months on end. Well, this date and this date and this date. Nobody fucking looks at that shit. They mail them and throw it in the fucking trash, man. I got shit to do. I'm going to go jack off or I got a date tonight or I'm going to make dinner. I got shit to do. I don't give a fuck about your little piece of paper over here. So, and if they have, if they call, if they start calling folks, trying to tell them, you know, hey, this is going to happen, they're just going to hang up. They're not going to listen to the automated recording. So, both situations, they're not going to really know. And all of a sudden, they're going to start getting billed and billed and billed. And that's when all the people at the call center and shit are going to catch fucking hell. Yeah. And that sucks. That's, this is the one time I hope everybody gets out of country call centers. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, come again. All right, nope, can't do that. That's offensive. That's not offensive. <laughs> Dude, it's on The Simpsons, man. Shut up. Yeah, offensive. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I don't know. I just, I just don't like this. This is, again, we'll call this a Drew's a whiny bitch episode because I just think this is absolute bullshit. Again, I very, I say I try very hard not to say names, but I always use cable companies' names. But I'm fucking, I'm pissed that Comcast is doing this. I'm pissed that Cox. I know there's plenty of other cable companies out there that are doing it as well. If there is a hundred percent a justifiable reason that makes sense for the littler companies, great, perfect. Prove me fucking wrong. I want to know because maybe we'll have a better understanding. We wouldn't be as whiny bitchy about it. But as far as I see it. I am so fucking happy I don't work for Comcast anymore because I would actually for I would truly, truly be a fucking ashamed at this point, because to me, that is the most disgusting to me. It's it's pretty much stealing. You're a fucking thief. This should be a time where we're supposed to be coming together as a country and you just fucking bought up all the hand sanitizer and you're fucking trying to sell it at high prices. That's the equivalent. They're just being fucking super douchebags. Yeah, but they got to get that that next yacht or that next lake house, man. You you know that's important. Yeah, God forbid. So they can have more fucking social distancing. Let me throw one last thing out at you, and then we'll wrap this up. But this is something that's interesting, too. We were talking about how the cable operators are losing pay TV customers, right? Yep. So as they're losing pay TV customers, they're, you know, people's going to Hulu, Netflix, you know, there's all kinds of shit I don't even know about that's out there. So the Amazon streaming shit they got, I want to know, you know, who like Netflix is on the stock market. These companies are getting really big, right? They're just about as big, not as big as Comcast, but they're big, right? They're worth millions, Dude, millions I, of dollars. I think they're bigger or hold on. <laughs> Uh, maybe money wise, no, but I think subscriber wise, I bet you they fucking. Oh, subscriber wise, I'd say they are, but in terms of wealth, they're not close, but they're worth a lot of money, but they're big. So here's the thought I got. If they're putting data caps on, on the company, the company's putting data caps on the consumer, the consumer's using this, this internet service to use the streaming services and they're going to start cancel. I promise you this will happen. People will start canceling streaming services. And may go back to pay TV, right? Mm. Because they don't have to, it's not charging them internet cap for streaming. So this may be actually a ploy that I'm just thinking like conspiracy theory kind of shit. But say they say, okay, well, if we keep charging these people, they're going to get tired of getting charged for watching movies and shit. So they'll quit doing that, come back to pay TV. Ah, so here's actually a really good opportunity for everybody to freaking truly investigate and look into this because you just triggered it in my head. Comcast has a streaming service out there called Peacock. Now, do you get charged or do you use up any data while streaming through Peacock? That is that would, the question. That, that because would be an interesting thing to know. If they fucking, this is going to come into like, fuck CATV Tech Talk. This is going to turn into like cable conspiracy fucking concerns. Something like the CCC or crazy shit like that. Um, Like, I don't fucking know. Because that's, that would just be absolutely fucking crazy. 
Uh, I don't. How could they charge an overage for streaming their own product? But, and that's what I mean. So, but that proves to your point that if they won't charge for their product, but if their fucking Netflix is going to fucking use up data and they're going to charge for that, exactly what you said, forcing the subscriber back to plug in TV. I can see that. And what it's going to do is it's going to affect this uh, in these certain areas are really going to affect Netflix and Hulu and whatever Google bullshit, whatever the hell that streaming TV they use like YouTube TV, whatever it's going to, they're going to lose subscribers over this. I wonder if there's going to be a handshake deal somewhere where in certain States where Netflix goes up and says, Hey, you know, uh, we're kind of losing money over here. What can we work out? Yeah. You know? Yep. Cause, um, I just, because we keep talking about it, I keep <laughs> researching shit as we're doing it. It says to be precise, Comcast's worth in 2020 was estimated at a $205.58 billion, which puts them among the most valuable U.S. companies. Hulu uh, is worth $15 billion. They're, they're worth billions? Like Hulu's up in the billion? $15 billion netflix is at 157 billion and Dude, was, that's bigger than i thought it would be yeah me that's way bigger than what i thought this so netflix is almost overtaking comcast so can you see it now can you see netflix is gonna be like hey yep. you're taking you know you're fucking us over over here with these data caps you know we need to work something out you know like i'm telling you because that, that could take a big hit man on netflix and hulu and all that shit Oh, yeah, dude, hard, way hard. And like you said, that's, damn. I, again, I feel like this is a conspiracy theory episode. Uh, you know, we just don't have the, the, we don't understand why other than the fact that they want more money. And the that's, own- I, I, I don't know. I, I just don't see the downfall to not charging for the cap. And actually, yes, Peacock content is streamed from the internet and will count against your monthly usage. Okay. It will. It will. But again, Peacock just came out. The block just came out. Well, I didn't, I know Peacock's kind of been floating around in the background. I think it's been released more recently. I know they've been shooting out promotional emails recently for it. So it's kind of odd that they dropped both at the same time. So maybe <laughs> maybe we're not, not the two smartest cable guys and they've already thought of that. And maybe that's why it's all timing. So I think this will be something to kind of look at constantly in the background to see if they're going to be, um, if they start charging. Or they don't give a fuck about uh, the uh, the streaming service or losing pay TV customers and all. And they're just like, hey, we're going to eventually go to a complete 100%. And, and, you know, I see this happening. We're eventually going to go complete fiber to the home, you know, in the next decade or two. We're going to be fiber to the home. And we'll have a complete 100% streaming service. So we can give them internet and then let them stream the TV. And then we'll just charge them more for the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Which, again, like I always say, I understand a company has to make business. You got to make business decisions because if you if you make poor ones, then you're not a business anymore. But, again, I just feel like this one's over the limit. This is just way too much. Especially at uh... – in in the time frame we're in what's going on in the united states like just bad timing yeah it really is you know what i'm fucking done with this i'm i'm gonna be a whiny bitch fuck comcast fuck that fucking catv tech talk is here for all you guys fucking hate them all the customers god damn it fucking stupid data caps i don't fucking know do you have anything else about it because i'm just i can't anymore it's just bullshit. It's just another way to squeeze another couple dollars off of the little guy. You know, and fucking oh, God. All right. Fuck this shit. I'm done. This shit's just fuck a uh, dude. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I just can't do this anymore. Do we have to keep doing these like shitty topics that are fucking so what's our next one? On call. Fuck this. I'm done. <laughs> Peace! Like what you just heard? Then don't forget to click that subscribe button. 
Questions for the host or just want to say hello, you can email us at catvtechtalk at gmail.com or find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash catvtechs. Thanks again for joining us and don't forget, climbing, crawling, drilling, driving is just the beginning.